Hey man, comment below y'all's favorite jump shot in NBA 2K24, what you are most consistent with, the blending, the bases, everything, before we get into the video, man. Now look, within this video, I am going to teach you how to shoot best jump shots, best release timing, best hot spot method, and all the tricks to shoot in this broken ass shooting 2K. Now look, listen, before we really get into it, Listen, dog. you must learn how to shoot. Send this to a friend, send this to whoever. You must learn how to shoot to have fun on the game, okay? We're all trying to escape reality. By playing this game, learn to shoot, bro, okay? So you wanna watch this full video. Now look, some, some tricks, okay? The worse you are, the higher your three point in shooting has to be. Be honest with yourself, okay? The worse you are, the slower your jump shot has to be. You know, you see that release speed? It's not really even a big difference. Maybe it's a cut one frame, a couple frames. The slower your release speed happens, has to be, it opens up the green window and it's easier to hit your shot, okay? Now in this game, in every 2K, even in 2K22, people leave you open, especially if you're a random bot. So you can go with a slow jump shot to make sure you hit your shot, okay? A lot of y'all don't know this. When you need them fast jumpers is when you play comp, okay? Y'all not playing like comp, comp, like the comp I'm talking about. So all y'all that's wreck, park, goddamn, whatever. And then you can green in people's face. So it's all about hitting your shot, dog. Hitting your release. It's easier to time, you know, with, with the goddamn random speed ups and slow downs, you really need something that's bulletproof. So when you slow it down, you're gonna run into less of that nonsense because your window, pretty sure you lower down your base, I'm pretty sure your window opens, right? Or am I, am I tripping? I'm pretty sure. But look, before we get into the rest of the video, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Help me hit 281K.3. We are like 10 subscribers away. Make sure you hit that goddamn like button. Help me get 100 likes within the first hour to push the video to the goddamn algorithm so young swan can grow. Sleep. before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, but yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's, so, there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. Now look, your visual cue. I like release. I say use release or push. They say release is very late and they're saying push is late. Um, 
I be using release and I, I like it. They saying this is uh, whatever, but whatever. Your timing, it just make sure you put it on push or release and then let, let me know how you feel about it. This is supposed to be very early. This is supposed to be early. This is supposed to be late. This is supposed to be very. Now, firstly, this jump shot right here, probably the best jump shot in the game. Now, look, I know y'all, y'all, y'all looking at it. Da 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 da. Look, if you struggling to shoot, try it out, bro. Tick it down one. Try to 75. If it ain't, if it ain't what you really like, tick it down to the 50. Then tick it down to the 25. You can even tick it down to the, you know, test it out, bro. I'm telling you, bro. A lot of people have noticed it being a lot easier to shoot in past 2Ks. People did this type of thing. And like the worse you are, the more you can go with this type of stuff and really be like stupid green because people are going to leave you open. Okay. Look, the JT throw. Look, look, I'm telling you, you know, the very popular jump shot, man. This is for people who got like a lower three. The T Mac, you got to have like a higher three. This is for people with like a lower three. And of course, if, if you can't qualify with these releases, of course, switch up the releases. But the JT throw, one fourth, you could drop off stage people with this jump shot, you know? But the point is to hit that hole. The A to A plus release speed, it's really not that big of a difference. So if you can always hit your shot, it's worth it. Try it out, man. Now look, this jump shot is, is, is green, okay? It's a fast jump shot, and uh, it got a nice little release height for y'all that's worried about your fades being a certain way. You know, the release height not too, eh. You know, it's a nice jumper. Y'all might not have ever tried it. Check it out, man, and, you know. It's for the lower uh, three balls, too, okay? These releases make it a little higher, but I just wanted to give y'all, you know, the best version type, you know? Paul George, another excellent base that is very easy to hit with. Y'all can still use them same methods I was telling y'all about to, you know, be green in this hole. Now this hole, you go backwards kind of like that Butler thing, man. So it looking like you ain't, you ain't gonna be really getting contested like that. So this is another good jump shot. You know, you could test out. Let me know if you like this hole. Need a little, little higher three ball, but now, like, for instance, this whole fades back like that Butler thing, man. So, you know, T-Max real good with that. KD's real good with it, you know. So, this is a jump shot you definitely want to, you know, if you don't got the attributes, you definitely want to try this hole, okay? It's real good. And look, we got the good old T-Mac, man, okay? Best jump shot in the game, okay? Easiest to hit with. Might have some load-ups and stuff, but easiest to hit with, man. Yeah. And look, we got this KD jump shot. You would qualify, bro. KD, T Mac. I say T Mac better than KD. Bro, these is a KD, T Mac, bro. Them jump shots is stupid, way easier to shoot with. <laughs> so, y'all should definitely try them out, man. Okay, you can shoot a lot of contested shots. And you don't really get contested like that with them two uh, releases. And by the way, the best hotspot method to really get a lot of your hotspots is to play my career on rookie 12-minute quarters. Okay, doing it in the sunset stuff, it's not it's not working like that. And I don't know if the Gatorade still works. Y'all let me know. Hill boost. I know they're scamming us. But if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot also even better gatorade okay um you can probably go with one of these holes or not even use it make sure you always do your weekly workouts they took gym rat out the game if you do your weekly workouts on a certain level you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do correct very important your gatorade is going to help you shoot you, you see how they everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Get your hot zone, okay? Get your hot zones. In my career, it will change your life. Get your hot zones. A lot of y'all can't shoot, you don't have hot zones. In every 2K, you don't have your hot zones, you struggle to shoot. Have your hot zones plus your badges You'll be Gucci. Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback, 
You could turn off everything. If you like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.